Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. To those who are new, hi, hello, my name is Paula, and here in our channel, we talk all about perfumes. To those returning, my returning viewers, my subscribers, my regulars, my new subscribers, thank you so much for the continued love and support. Today, I'm doing a tag video where I will be sharing my top 10 spicy fragrances in my perfume collection, and this was a tag started by Abby or Cherry TV. Let us start with today's video. So the first spicy fragrance that I have in my collection, this is actually my scent of the day. This is Twilly the Hermes by Hermes. And this is a spicy floral fragrance. This is a fresh spicy fragrance actually because it has a ginger in here. This is a floral fragrance. It has a sweetness to it, but it's the ginger that really is the start of the show. When I first smelled this fragrance, I was not really into it, honestly. And I was thinking of Olympia all over again because of that ginger. But this one, I have been wearing it and I've been loving it because I don't really get that much of the ginger anymore. It's still there, but it's not as bitter as when I first tried it. And I have been actually using this one and I am loving it. It is a very, very cute bottle. When you see the bottle, when you look at the bottle, you imagine something very sweet. Or something very you know typical floral sweet fruity fragrance but this one has a spice to it which i really really love right now so so this is number one on our list this is Twilly the hermes by the house of hermes the next one that i have is actually the spiciest fragrance that i have in my perfume collection this is actually just your spice cabinet in a bottle and this is le participe passe this is from the house of serge Tons. this one I do have to say, when I first smelled this, I was like, oh, it smells like braised beef or braised dish or any kind of braised dish because it has here that cumin that we use in our like dishes. And I think this one also has a bunch of caramel in here and some resin. So when I imagine caramel, because the braised dish that I'm talking about, for example, like braised pork or braised beef or braised chicken. So we do put like brown sugar in there and like pepper, which is also I think is here, like black peppercorns. And then we put our bay leaf and we put a lot of different spices. And it just reminds me of, this one just reminds me of that food. But of course this one doesn't smell like, you know, like food on you. This is a very spicy fragrance because it is a very ambery, warm, spicy fragrance. It is a little bit animalic, but I really, really love this. This is a warm, spicy, ambery fragrance. So this is like your spice cabinet. It's very like rich and deep. And if you just can imagine that scent and with this color, it just perfect. It's a perfect match. So this color of the juice just represents the scent very, very well. So this is Serge Luton's Le Participe Passé. Le Participe Passé. Past participle. The next one that I have is Hot Couture by Givenchy. This one has a black pepper note. So it is a fruity, floral, powdery fragrance. The raspberry is very sweet in here. But this one has the black pepper. So the black pepper in here gives this one that smoky quality to it. Very similar to, you know, smoke like in a cigar or something or like a cigarette. But this one is a very sweet fragrance, but the black pepper just adds a character to this fragrance. The black pepper is very prominent, but it's not a very, like the kind of black pepper that makes your nose like tingle or itchy or like makes you want to sneeze. It's not the kind of black pepper because it has that raspberry in here. I really love this. This is Hot Couture and I have the Eau de Parfum and this is from the house of Givenchy. The next one that I have is another fragrance that has a ginger note. This is Olympia Aqua by the House of Paco Rabanne. And this one has that ginger and that salt and that vanilla. It has water notes in here and it also has, I think, some citruses, some musk, some ambergris, sandalwood. But I really get a lot of the ginger in here. So compared to Twilly, this one has a stronger ginger note, but it is more of like a very ozonic and a very aquatic, very spring, summer appropriate kind of a ginger. I really love this. The ginger is very prominent, but it's the kind of ginger that I love. So it's not the bitter kind of ginger. It's not even a very sweet, spicy kind of ginger. Just in between, and it's just the right kind of ginger that I really love. This is Olympia Aqua by the house of Paco Rabanne. The next one that I have has a bunch of notes in here. This has your ambrette, your musk mallow. This also has pepper, black pepper, just like with Givenchy's Hot Couture. This is La Temperance number 14 by the house of Dolce & Gabbana. And this one 
is a spicy fragrance. You immediately get it. You immediately get the black pepper in here. But com this isn't like a fruity fragrance, a sweet fruity fragrance. It has a sweetness to it, but this is basically a powdery rounded floral fragrance and that added character because of the black pepper. This is such a very underrated scent. It's a beautiful scent, but I think the reason why not a lot of people are talking about this one is because of the longevity. And I think because the whole line is discontinued, um, yeah, in terms of longevity, this is just a moderate lasting fragrance and that would be like stretching it to the eighth hour. But this one is basically just like a very short to moderate lasting fragrance on average. But, you know, I really love this. I don't mind respraying or reapplying. And this is such an easy scent to wear. Safe for the office, safe for school, safe as a signature scent. And I think it also has other notes in here. It has, if I'm not mistaken, cardamom. So, yeah. Speaking of cardamom, I have something... That is cardamom heavy, not really, really heavy. Cardamom heavy, for example, in Gritty Charnel. That one's a very prominent cardamom fig tea kind of a smell. This one is DKNY Stories by, of course, Donna Karan, New York. And this is a lactonic fragrance. It is sweet. It has a guava in here. It's a fruity, creamy, um, floral fragrance, but it has that cardamom, which I really do get. And, you know, I even compared it to, like, this is, like, like cardamom ice cream because of that milk mousse and cardamom combination. Very nice. But you do get that bite because of the cardamom. Not really bite, but you do get that, you know, spice in there when you smell this. So this one just makes this, that cardamom just makes this one a step above, you know, the mainstream fragrances. This is still a very, like, mass appealing fragrance. That's, I think, why most people are not really wowed by it because... People are just saying, you know, it's like it's something that has been done before. But of course, that's how it is with mass appealing fragrances because you produce fragrances, you create fragrances that will be appealing to the general public or like to most people. So yeah, this one is actually a really beautiful fragrance if you are not bothered by that cardamom note. So this is DKNY Stories by DKNY. The next one that I have is from a clone house. This is Federico Mahora. This is Pure Real 906. So this is a clone of Tobacco Vini. I don't know if it's similar to the real thing. I haven't smelled the real thing, but this one has a lot of spices in here as well based on the notes listed from their website. And also because it's trying to um, duplicate the scent of Tobacco Vini, which has spices as the top notes, like spices in general. This is also a very spicy fragrance. It has a woody... Um, earthy kind of powdery very strong prominent woody note but it is also very very spicy it's actually making my eyes water i spray too much so this is pure royale 906 from the house of federico mahora the next one that i have is from the house of andre mac and this is the collaboration she had with entrance this one has your very prominent clove in here and I actually really love this fragrance. When I first got it, I was like, I don't know when I can wear this fragrance. It's too strong. It's too much. It is too unique for like general usage. But actually, when I tried other fragrances, when I added more fragrances to my perfume collection, this, is, this isn't really as scary as I thought it was. So it is quite strong. It is very strong on that um, clove. Look at that mist, if you guys can see that. But this is actually a very beautiful fragrance. This is a unisex fragrance. My husband can really easily wear this, but he doesn't really like these kind of scents. So he loves his freshies, his like, like easy to wear, like sport kind of fragrances or smells. And I sprayed this one once in the room and he was like, what is that smell? It's like, did I do something wrong? I just sprayed this one and I really love it. So this just is a beautiful fragrance that I know, for example, my brother would love, not something that my dad would love. My papa, I think, I wouldn't really go for this one as well because this is really much on that spice and that earthy, like woody quality. But this one is something that I really love to wear. So this is Entrance or her collaboration with Entrance, Andrew Mack and Entrance collaboration by the house of Andrew Mack. The ninth one that I have, how can I create a video of spicy fragrances without including Taste and Do by Frasai? This is, as I described, it reminds me of fruitcake, but a lot of people say that it's like more like a rum cake. And Chris or the Perfume Nest um, said that it reminded her of, oh my god, is it like the black cake? No, a friendship cake? I don't know. The Amish friendship cake? The black cake? But anyway, it's a spice cake with lots of fruits in there. This one has your nutmeg your cinnamon, 
your rum and your leather but the nutmeg and the cinnamon very prominent that when i smelled this one it just reminded me of ginger snap or gingerbread cookies so it's this one taste and do by frasai and the last one that i have is i don't know why not a lot of people talk about this one i guess because this is such an adventurous fragrance for me or maybe because this is such a dated fragrance for some this is taboo by Jana Colognes and I know like I featured this in my videos and some people will be like oh my gosh you really wear taboo are you sure like why not this is actually a very nice fragrance when I first sprayed it though it reminded me of like bug spray I'm not I'm gonna be honest it reminded me of bug spray especially the bygone brand that we had back home just like oh my god but I cannot stop smelling it and when I this one doesn't smell the same as when I first smelled it or like when I first sprayed it. It doesn't give me that vibe anymore. This is just a very amber, resinous, spicy fragrance. This one has, this was I think created, I don't know, like, like so long ago. And you know, fragrances created so long ago have like a bunch of notes. But this one is just the epitome of spice like this color, like amber, and you guys can see that I have been using it. So, you know, I'm not lying. I'm not just trying to say that, you know, oh my God, this is so nice, but you know, show you guys full bottles. But you know, I have been really using this one. And this is a fragrance, almost all of my fragrances, most of my, fra I think almost all of my fragrances, my husband hates because this one he doesn't like, but fragrances like this, I really love. This is just the epitome of like a spicy fragrance, but not super spicy, not super peppery, not super cinnamony, not super, you know, like nutmeggy, nutmeggy, not that overly done spice, but it is a well blended spicy fragrance. And this is Taboo by Dana Colognes. So that is it for today's video. I shared with you 10 fragrances, 10 spicy fragrances that I have in my perfume collection. I do know I have some other spicy fragrances, but these are like my top 10 spicy fragrances. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to click the like button. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, I hope you guys subscribe and help this family grow and click the notification bell when you do. Thank you so much to Abby or Cherry CV for tagging me in doing this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun, much love. Stay safe and see you in the next one.